Monica with Today Tonight. Hello again, good to be with you. First tonight, terror in the tunnel and fools on our freeways. Perth's network of high-speed roads are pretty good by international standards, but that hasn't stopped some WA drivers turning our highways into a type of rapid Russian roulette. Graham Butler has more. There are some real lunatics out there driving. You think, how the hell have they done that? Just no regard for their own safety, or your safety for that matter. This smash was captured on camera in the Northbridge Tunnel. The driver says she was cut off by another car and swerved, losing control. The passengers flee the car and move to the emergency lane. Imagine if a speeding car came through now. While Main Roads has always monitored vision in the tunnel, it's just started recording it. It's only over the last uh, one to two months we started recording the footage through there as a trial. Obviously, from the footage we've seen here, it's paying dividend. It seems speed is the main problem. Look at this driver speed out of the tunnel, then lose control. He spins sideways, travelling backwards, smashing into the concrete barrier before flipping over. The guy coming through the tunnel at excessive speed, boozing it, then rolling a number of times. And quite luckily, the bus was just up the road there, so the police were on site within a minute. Main Roads is recording the vision to study how drivers use the tunnel. Craig Waldridge from Main Roads says one thing is very clear. Given the chance, people speed. When you get in the dead of night, early hours of the morning, there's not too much traffic, speed becomes a significant issue. So you can get speeds up to about 150k an hour, which isn't overly smart in a confined environment or any road for that matter. More than 96,000 cars a day are using the Northbridge Tunnel. And if you're one of the drivers doing the speed limit, you'll know just how frustrating it is when cars scream past you as if you're doing something wrong. To see just how many people speed, we've driven through the tunnel with cameras fixed to our car. We've set the cruise control at the limit, 80 kilometres an hour. Watch what happens. Traffic streams past us. Remember, we're doing the speed limit, so every car passing us is speeding. Even a TV news crew passes us, running late for a story perhaps, but they're not alone. They're going too fast, they're not paying attention, um, they're being distracted by whatever reason, and it is an absolute recipe when they do come to grief in there because you've got everyone travelling behind you as well. Inspector Neil Royal says while police do patrol the tunnel, drivers still continue to speed. It is no secret that there are no cameras in the tunnel and you can't really put them in there. So it is open slather for a lot of people and we're seeing that. Yep, and, I, and you would have seen it today as well and we've seen it on a regular basis also. Um, our unmarked vehicles and indeed our marked vehicles from time to time are overtaken by people in the tunnels. Other cities have permanent fixed speed cameras in tunnels. Not Perth. We're still thinking about it. Why aren't there cameras inside the tunnel? Well, in due course, there may well be. Um, there certainly is examination by government at the minute um, for fixed cameras, and it may well come to pass that that's one of the sites they look at. Will speed cameras in the tunnel make any difference? Well, not if the freeway's anything to go by where speed cameras are already used. Have a look what happens when we drive along the freeway at the speed limit of 100. Watch as cars stream past us, one after the other all speeding. There's this mindset that thinks because there's no cross streets um, and side roads, well, you just go as fast as you like. They know, they know what speed they're supposed to be doing and it's just one of those attitude things where they don't care. Well, we're here to make them care. A road safety committee is now considering the issue of speed cameras in the tunnel. Now, a bright day for Buffy. The Maltese Terrier has been blind for many years, but thanks to a bold Perth eye specialist who's pioneered an Australian first, today she received...